Welcome to another Joypro tutorial. Today we are talking about printing out layouts. So now we are in Joypro and click on the top left on print layout. Now we see the overview of our sticks which are in relations. For the purpose of the video we just will do a single stick, which is my left VPC stick Warbird, uh, which I use for some targeting but not too much more. So I'm going to click search. Now it wants from me a PNG file, where I just select a joystick. Then I have to select the output path, where it then throws out the all printed images, where I just select this one. Note, um, right now we have to set up like the picture from scratch. At a later point we can just save the layout and uh, use them later, so we don't need to every time set them up from scratch. But so let's start. So I really like for this image to have a font size of 35 and I really like the text form of, text form of HSE FB. Let's introduce the game here and the plane here in the field. To basically put everything in you have to select like here like the Y axis and where that would be on your stick. That would be for me in this looks from like I would read that as the x-axis on my on my left hander stick and this as the y-axis on my left hander stick. So then let's go further on and now I need to place where the other buttons are so it places them correctly. So for that I have my my utility open for uh, for for my verbal joystick like as it is a verbal joystick and I know that like um, my button one is basically this like this trigger up. But as I don't have a button 1 in any relation, it is not there. However, I have a button 2. That is basically when I first push that button down. So I just select the button 2 here and set like trigger stage 1. As another trigger stage would be button 3. Do we have a button 3? Negative. So let's go further. Let's just check like from top to bottom. If I press that button, what button is this? It's button 6. So let's check here. Do we have a button 6? Yes, we do. And put it in here. Then for the next one, let's go for the left one. Top is 8. Bottom is 10. Left is 11. Right is 9. You press a 7, do I have 7? No. 11, 8, 9, 10. Okay, then let's go to the next one. Do we have anything on this one? 19 and 20. And that's a negative. So let's go to the next one to the right. Let's go the furthest right stick. That's 32, 33, 34, 35. Up is 32 for me. So I just put it in here. Down 33. Left 34. Right 35. Do I have a depress with which is the button 5? It does not look like that, that, does, that I have depress here. So let's check the small coolie head like CMS switch ask. Do you have anything here? It's button 26. Yes, I do. That is forward. Back is 28. Left is 29. Right is 27. We have a depress, 25, negative. Let's go on to the next one. Do I have this button set, the number 12? Yes, I do. So I put in the number 12. So 
So let's go to the next one, which is the scroll wheel. 23 and 24. Up is 23. Down is 24. First person is 22. Wait. 23 and 24. Yeah, that's correct. First person is 22 and second is 21. So do we have 22 or 21? Negative. So we don't have that. Actually, I messed this small coolie head up. The small coolie head is actually the bottom one here from my graphics. So I have to quickly replace that. So 26 up. 27 to the right. Twenty nine to the left, and twenty eight to the bottom. And this one is actually like the kind of DMS switch on the stick. That's fourteen, sixteen, seventeen, and fifteen, and thirteen. Do we have thirteen? Yes, we have thirteen. So we have a D press actually here. Let's quickly go on that as well. Uh, that was 14 forward. 14 is forward. Down is 16. Left is 17. Right is 15. Okay, let's check the lower part. The trigger was not set. Do you have anything on the pinky? Number 30. Negative. Do you have anything on the twist axis or on the uh, big, big clutch, which is button 31? And actually there is one, one thing on the clutch. So I put it here as it's the first clutch stage. Okay, now since we're done, we should save the layout so we can use it later. We click therefore, therefore and save layout, given the proper name, which is for me, VPC, alpha, left as a layout. I save that, and now the layout is saved so we can use it later. We are, I will show you that a bit later, but now we press export. Now it will export all the files, and I will show you in a second what it does. Okay, now it's done, it gives us the message, and we go into the folder where we just extracted to. ECS, then let's just check like one of my favorite planes, the AGS wing. Let's just check that, and you see basically what is everywhere. Now you see basically, hey, my FR22 push is there, and down is there, so we basically see every button that is, um, in the game with a proper description and not just with the uh, with the like relation names that you give them but like now with the actual oh what what was the button again and which relation did i put it now we, with these kind of pictures you can see them and uh you can put them in the kneeboard for instance and can open it on the fly if you're in vr it's extremely helpful such things and uh I, in, in this instance i can highly suggest using the kneeboard builder it's a lot of it's a lot good use and I use it myself for putting Chuck's guides in, into DCS for myself but uh, that aside you basically see that does it now for every plane and you see game DCS plane HAS and whatever is like in there okay so let's close this one and I will show you how uh, now you can basically just start or use the new layout file so we click on search again Select on the bottom right, we are not looking for PNGs, but for a layout file. We see here the layout file. Then you see here the layout file linked. 
click on continue, and then you see already what we have done before. Okay, that would be it for it now. Have a nice evening and see you next time.